Last week, Pedro Grafal, White Sox manager, made history when he announced that Garrett Crochet was going to be the opening day starter for the good guys. So my question to you all is, is he ready to be the White Sox ace? We're going to discuss Garrett Crochet right after the intro. Welcome to the number one place for all Chicago baseball. Let's start the show. All right, Chicago baseball fans, welcome to another episode of Chicago White Sox and Cubs Central. I'm your host, Big Bro. 773-389-6954 is the number to hit us up. Leave us a voicemail before the season starts. Or you can hit us up at Chicago Baseball Central at gmail.com. I'm here on behalf of Wyatt and uh, Big Mike as well. And uh, hey, man, we're getting closer and closer to opening day. So yesterday I talked a little bit about the starting rotation for the White Sox with um, – uh, Eric Fetty and uh, Soroku, I think Soraka out of Atlanta. Uh, the, the White Sox picked him up. Um, but the starting, the opening day starter is Garrett Crochet. And um, we know that we drafted him in 2020. The White Sox drafted him in 2020 uh, out of Tennessee. We know that he has 100 mile per hour stuff. But does that mean that he's good enough to uh, be the uh, the starter, the the the, 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 the facto ace? In this here lineup with no more Lucas Giolito, no more um, uh, Dylan Cease. Uh, so, yeah, just a little bit of uh, back background, though. So when I said he made history, uh, Pedro Grifo, uh, this he's going to be uh, the youngest opening day starter for the White Sox since, I believe, Chris Sale back in 2013 at 24 years old. And he's also going to be uh, the ninth uh, opening day starter uh, in 110 years. Uh, who makes his first career major league start um, on opening day, which is pretty dope for Crochet. So I know, man, like, is he going to have the jitters? Like, what is it going to be like when you go out there versus Detroit on Thursday? Uh, you came into this to this team. You've had uh, an entire season off because of uh, Tommy John surgery. You're working yourself back from that. And uh, you were in the bullpen uh, pretty much for your career here as the White Sox player. And now they've, they're they taking you out of the bullpen and making you the day one starter for a team that is clearly rebuilding. So what does it look like for him, man? Well, he says he, he did get to sit down with uh, – he get, he did get to pitch uh, last week with his catcher, uh, Maldonado. Um, the, the White Sox picked him up as well. And now this is a gold glove winning catcher, a World Series winning, winning catcher, two NL pennants. Uh, so – with him behind the plate, this is what he said. He felt like there's uh, – this is what Crochet had to say. It feels like there's a lot of positive stuff to take away. Slider shapes were good. A few sliders, in my opinion, that they had no business swinging at or not swinging at, but sometimes guys are going to take good pitches. So prior to his last start in spring training, uh, Crochet – uh, had gone nine scoreless innings, didn't give up any home runs, didn't walk anybody, was just really striking people out as well, just looking good. But then uh, his last outing with Maldonado behind uh, uh, the plate, uh, he allowed three runs on five hits with two strikeouts in a, a walk in three and two-thirds innings. He threw 80 pitches in three and two-thirds innings, which is a lot. 49 of them were strikes, though, so his strikes to, uh, to ball ratio is still uh, pretty good. Um, and then Thursday – um, he this is his first time working with Martin Maldonado, uh, and that's that's good. He said he's a big target. It felt like it went well. Now Pedro Griffo said that's basically why Maldonado is here: his ability to handle the staff, his ability to navigate through a lineup, his ability to recall between at bats. So while Crochet did finally allow a run, which was a two run two run home run, um, he did finish the day with a perfect one two three fourth. Inning. So he wrapped up screen training with a 2.13 ERA, 14 strikeouts in 12 and two thirds innings. Uh, and, you know, he's getting the start. So many people were kind of confused about who should be the opening day starter. And obviously it was Dylan Cease up until he was traded. Uh, some people wanted Eric Fetty to be uh, the starter who went to, he was in Korea, uh, was just dominant in Korea. He won what's the equivalent of a Cy Young over there. And he went and reinvented himself as a baseball pitcher. But um, it seems as though just, just based on what we've seen in the in spring training, hey, this guy Garrett earned it. He definitely earned it. And it's not to slight uh, Eric Fetty or Michael Soroka, but, hey, he definitely earned it, man. This guy has fought his way back uh, from Tommy John surgery, and he still has a plethora of pitches that he's utilizing. Uh, his slider and his fastball is looking good. Um, so, hey, as White Sox fans, 
we know that we're not expecting much and it can't get any worse than losing 100 plus games last season. So give this guy a chance. That's my advice to White Sox fans. Um, we can't come. Well, we shouldn't. I'm not going to tell you what you can or can't do. But uh, me, myself, I'm not going to go into opening day um, with this microscope, uh, this that's like, oh, my God, uh, he threw a wild pitch or, oh, my God, he gave up home runs. Now, if it looks like really, really bad, like Jamison Tyone bad, bad last season with the Cubs, then sure. But let's say let's give this guy maybe five or six starts before we start uh, criticizing his every move. Um, but I do believe that he's going to have a solid outing once he gets the jitters out, once the bugs are out. A lot of families going to be there. A lot of eyes are going to be on him because even though the White Sox are a bad team, it's still Chicago. Right. Uh, th there's still going to be media. Right. He's going to be right down the street in Detroit. So it's not going to be an easy circumstance to go out there in Detroit. Always give Chicago's fits, uh, the White Sox fits, because they're one of our division rivals. We already know how it goes with Detroit and Minnesota and Cleveland. But I think it's a good thing uh, for Crochet to start in hostile territory on the road in Detroit. Um, you know, let's let's go out there. And, and, and play well, young fella. You're 24 years old. You're getting a fresh start. There's no pressure on you in terms of uh, coming up behind Dylan Cease or Lucas Giolito uh, or coming in the bull, coming out of the bullpen and pitching uh, in the sixth or seventh inning. You go out there, you set the tone, young fella. You go out there, you set the tone, you keep it close, you allow Luis Robert, Eloy Jimenez, and others to try to get you some run support, and then you get your first win. That's what I expect to see from you, Crochet. I want you to go out there and play your best. And if you don't win, it is what it is. But just don't be the reason that the White Sox uh, are, are losing games early in the season. All right. So, hey, best of luck to the young fella and the rest of the starting rotation with Eric Fetty and uh, Sirota. Uh, but at the end of the day, uh, it starts with Crochet. I give kudos to, uh, to Chris Getz and Pedro Grafal for uh, putting their trust in this young fella, not panicking and going out there and trying to get – uh, somebody else, a, a more veteran person to come out and be your de facto ace. Get, let these young get guys get some run. It is what it is. Uh, we don't have a veteran uh, pitching staff anymore, hey, and it is what it is. You got to go out there and take care of business with what you have. All right, so y'all already know what it is. Uh, We're here for a good time, not a long time. Baseball is already long enough. I had to get on here today just to create a, a rhythm of doing everyday content as we lead into uh, the regular season. Can't wait to see you guys on Thursday. Should see Mike uh, later this afternoon with some Cubs content for you guys. But um, hey, we appreciate y'all. Don't forget to holler at our sponsor, sponsor Aura, for your um, for your, all your internet protection needs, all your uh, identity protection needs. And uh, it's your boy, Big Bro. We're going to holler at y'all next time. Peace. Welcome to the number one place for all Chicago baseball. 